So I write 90,000 word novels, and now the mic is mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so welcome every, everyone. I'm really so pleased to see all of these faces. I want to tell you that when Margaret came to me and told me she wanted to have a wedding in a venue with a glass ceiling, she already came armed with photographs and the GPS coordinates. <laughs> and that just shows the kind of organized woman she is with vision and direction. Um, but you know the thing about GPS coordinates or the GPS system is it's got this wonderful feature to tell you redirecting. And that happens when you have kind of lost your way or you've ignored the correct turnoffs and you've done some kind of boo-boo and it will tell you this is the way you're supposed to go. So despite my parents' best sterling efforts. There were areas in my life that I lost my way. And I was a little bit going around in circles. And if my imagination stretches, I can imagine God and the angels looking down and saying, ish, this young woman, she really needs a course direct, redirect. And so that course redirect came as a little blimp on an ultrasound. And when I looked at that little rudimentary blood system working through that ultrasound, I was struck by the beauty, the magnitude, and the amazing responsibility of being a co-creator with the universe. And from that moment on, my prayers changed dramatically. I started praying, God, grant me the courage to be the kind of mother I need to be in order for this young person to become the person that you intended her to be. Now that did come with quite a few course directions, but that prayer of courage allowed some remarkable people to come into my life to help me steer the way. Many of those people are in this room today, some couldn't make it. One of those is my husband, who has been my rock and my spiritual co-pilot along the journey. It hasn't always been the easiest of journeys, but as they say, iron sharpens iron. And uh, so we have forged a relationship that is strong, even though it has a series of fireworks that outshine <laughs> this glass ceiling. <laughs> The one of the lessons that my parents taught me as a young person is that no matter what my argument was, if I could come to them with logic and calm thinking, they would listen to me. And that is something that I try to instill in Margaret. And I can tell you this, that combination with the prayer of courage really played out when I had a little person very often call me to task, and then end with these words, Mommy, you know that I'm right. <laughs> and so this journey has been a most remarkable journey, and I can quite honestly say that Margaret quite literally saved my life. As anyone who's been on any destructive journey would know that sometimes you need that defining moment. So it's fitting as a lifesaver that she should be marrying a young man that in his profession saves lives. <laughs> but what I found amazing about Bracken is that many people who embark on difficult careers, which his is, become jaded and sometimes they lose their faith. But in Bracken, it has only strengthened his faith and that's what makes him quite remarkable. Over and above that, he has an enormously generous spirit, which is something that I see in his father firsthand. And he's got a kindness and a respectful way of speaking that I see when I hear when I speak to his mother in the way that she speaks. So all around this particular couple are really blessed and wonderful couple. But there's one particular gift that Bracken has given to our family, which not everyone knows about. In his generosity, he allowed my father, who could not be here today, to get to know him and 
my younger children who hadn't had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with their grandfather, he got to know them in the last months of his life. And I'm very, very grateful for that. But over and above that, one last act of, of generosity that he performed allowed Margaret to spend time with her grandfather in the final hours of his life. And that journey, however difficult it was, showed the remarkable person that Margaret really is. Because at 20 years old, she did for her father what I think that or her grandfather, what I think very, very few people have the courage to do. You are a shining, beautiful example of not only a beautiful face, but a beautiful spirit. And I am so enormously proud to call you my daughter, and I am eternally grateful for the gift that God gave me when you came into my life. Thank you.